Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Chuck Prince plays Sonic the Hedgehog 3, Part 3. We are now in the uh, Marvel Garden Zone. Marvel Garden Zone? Is that it? I'm pretty sure. Huh. I believe that's what the second Zone 2 Sonic, or in Sonic 3, or Sonic 1 was as well. I'm pretty sure. Anyway. You know, it doesn't really matter. Alright, so this is pretty cool. They started using this. Uh, well, you could see you yeah, have 3D effects. You could see some in uh, Sonic 1 and 2, but that you can actually watch it instead of it looking like it's going left and right. You can actually see it uh, running around a. Like it's actually going in a circle rather than, like I said, just left to right on the screen. Anyway, uh, there's a lot of gimmicks to this zone like the those blue uh, spheres that'll create platforms the bouncy springs that won't hurt you but will shoot projectiles at you and these discs that almost look like tops you can fly around on them but as soon as you hit uh, ground you will go flying it will act as a shield but only for one hit oh, I guess yeah they'll act as a shield if you do get hit by something I don't believe you can get crushed by them, so if you do get like pinned up against the ledge or something, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, and the I yeah, I've been talking about these. They create different platforms for you. The bouncy springs. You can tell them, you know, like from a line of, of springs, so you don't have to uh, worry about that. The they look almost like rubber rather than actual metal like those spikes do you know those you can tell they definitely look like metal while the other ones if I can ever find one do look more like uh, ooh, more like uh, rubber as I said and you, you gotta look everywhere for uh, the rings to go after the Chaos Emeralds. I know I'm not doing it very well and I probably have already passed a couple. But I don't know them all in this in this act. I know there's one in Act 2. But that's about as far as my knowledge of the rings for this zone is. Yeah, you can see it actually running around or going around its uh, pole that it's connected to. And there's also grasshoppers that will come popping out of the ground. I believe that's in Act 2, rather than Act 1, but... Crap. Of course, I always do that. So I try to go back here for this shield. And always get get hit by the uh, spring, by that ball and chain. And these faces with the one eye on the forehead that you have to hit three times as you saw it as long as it's flashing red you can hit it if it's uh, kind of half closed and blue you can't hit it only when it's wide open and red so to keep that in mind you can see that looks like rubber or fake or not like a real spring or spring uh, I keep calling them springs, I mean, uh, spikes. And those things are pain in the ass. Don't really keep too many rings here in this zone compared to others like, uh, Hydro, Hydro City Zone and the other couple zones that are coming up next. But let's see, where are we going? And they will break certain uh, grounds for you. These tops will. If I can ever get down. As long as you don't. Of course. As long as you don't move around, you shouldn't. Great, I need one. Yeah, I thought I did. But sadly, something that carries over from Sonic CD the ability. Uh, instead of curling up into a, sp a ball when you jump on a spring you get propelled face first into whatever enemies may be around you. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, 
I would very much like to get out of this zone. It's not one of my favorites by any stretch of the imagination, especially if it tends to drag on like it is now. And there we go. Alright, just like in most whoa, uh, bosses where, they're, where they have a drill, you'd have to watch out for the spikes or the sharp rocks that are coming down. The stalagmites, I believe is what they're called. Defeat him. And just happy to get out of here. <laughs> I do not, I, like I said, I don't really like this zone all that much. And Act 2 is only just going to get harder. But I don't know if I said this in Part 2 or not. The individual acts are harder than the, like, Act 2 will always be harder than the first one. And a common theme with most Sonic games, every act will get will be harder than the last and every I mean that just it makes it even worse with the different uh, zone uh, with the different acts or like act two always being harder than act one and so it's just aha uh -huh, here's the grasshoppers they will jump out of the ground as I said at certain points further on in the zone if you know where they are you know they won't really uh, affect you too bad and the one and a well-known gimmick here is that Robotnik later on in this in this act will try to crush you with a let's see should be a hidden section in here no hmm. I guess it's just a area so you can have a uh, checkpoint if you just in case you need one. I'll break that, and we'll get out of here. I'm gonna be careful, because of springs, we'll send you back into those pillars and that will crush you. They love to do that to you. Let's see. Uh, yeah, like right here. That's, that spring, the red springs, seem, will uh, always shoot you faster and farther than uh, yellow springs. And that, yeah, and that yellow spring, or that red spring, there is no exception. It would have uh, sent me into those spikes rather easily. And so that's the only ring that I know of here. And you can notice I'm, I haven't been saving it as much as I, w as I was in both Sonic 1 and 2. These are kind of more, these are easier, obviously, than uh, both Sonic 1 and 2. But I just want to make sure that I don't lose them because... I don't know where all of the rings are, and they're so they're kind of scarce for me. And so, I, and I like I said, I want to make sure that I get all seven Chaos Emeralds so that I can uh, give you the good ending for uh, this game. Like I'm trying to be keeping a steady, or a not steady, but a a good pace with doing that, you know, I'm, I've been able to do that almost every, or I guess every time, except for, no, I guess I've done it in Sonic 1, 2, that should be it, yep, Sonic 1, 2, and, and CD, I've been doing the good, the uh, good ending, I guess, so, anyway, so we got four Chaos Emeralds, we'll need uh, three more, obviously. <laughs> And, uh, they should, in the next zone that we're going to, I'll get at least three. Or I should be able to get three. That zone has a lot of, uh, rings that we can get there. So, I, you know, I usually try to get as many as I can in these beginning zones. And then just try to go for, uh, go for, for the rest of them in zone four. See what's over here, nothing. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of what might be coming up next so I don't get caught off guard by it. Those grasshoppers should be popping out of the ground any time now. Now, that, that ground that fell out from underneath me would have sent me back a pretty long way. So you, and you want to make sure, you, you want to be careful about doing that in this zone. They like to do that to you as well. Spikes and that 
the blue uh, sphere there, or the, the green sphere, made the ground, that the springs on the ground pop back up. It's like a repair sphere. Well, let's see, we're not going to need the... I guess we can use that to collect rings. Yeah, because we're not really going to need the fire shield here. But... Well, let's see, what was I... Oh yeah, the the ground falling out from underneath you. Springs, it'll shoot you into spikes, and there you go. There's one of those grasshoppers I was talking about that would pop out of the ground. I thought I had slowed down enough. I thought that was uh, something down there, but obviously not. Anyway, so, let's see, fire shield. We can use the face to destroy it, or we can use that. That's the fire shield. Son of a bitch. The fire shield ability. It just kind of shoots you in whichever direction you're aiming. And will, uh... It, it's pretty effective. It will kill any enemy as long as it doesn't have, like, a, a defensive shield around it or a spike like the, the blue... Bubbles here, I believe that's what his name is, even Bubbles. The actual in-game name. But, uh... The, uh... Maybe that's only for... Someone else. I'm thinking there should be an area here that the ground starts... Shoot. Starts trying to... Uh cave in from underneath us, or, you know, like, fall around us. I can't think of where it's at right now. Maybe over here? Yeah, okay, I thought so. Oh. Hitting him now won't, won't help within the, uh, during the boss fight, just like in the, when we saw the mini-boss for the first time, it didn't help in that boss fight, so it's, not really effective to hit him. Oh, be careful. Alright, so that now the ground just where we were just at is going to start falling on top of us, and we have to get to a certain point to make sure that we're safe, and you want to make sure you don't bypass it. It's very easy to do. Yep, there we go. And get to that checkpoint, and we're all safe now gotta worry about you know, well, gotta worry about that anymore and yeah, this is a pretty long zone gotta say but I think we're just right near the boss and uh, yep there we go we're, now this is an interesting boss fight as well I believe it will start it will affect him now if you can hit it, get him as many times as you can Oh crap. I'm gonna need the uh Alright, so Tails is controlling Sonic and or is flying Sonic around. You can if you do fall, don't worry because Tails will, will easily be able to catch you, come back down and catch you. And I'll show that off in a minute. You can control Tails around, moving up, down, left and right to move him up and down. And I'll show you jumping off, he'll just chase after you. You won't get hurt, no penalties. Anyway, so I thank you for watching. The challenge of the video is how many times did Tail die in this zone? I thank you for watching. Until next time.